Good morning, Ohio Gazimus. What's cracking, everybody? This is 808 Motor Lifestyles coming at you live and all right, heading towards Kaneohe. Coming from Central Oahu. This is my first vlog. Uh, so yeah, to be a bit of a, uh, this is who I am kind of a thing, kind of a feel to it. How about that? So, a little bit about myself is I've been riding for a number of years, and when I say a number of years, that's what I mean, a number of years. Well over 20. Uh, luckily, I've been blessed to be able to ride that many years and still love it. So much, in fact, so uh, even through my uh, years of riding and as I've gotten older, uh, I say the better part of the last 10 years or more, I've been pretty much all cruisers or baggers. I still actually have uh, a 2015 Harley-Davidson Street Glide that I still ride every once in a while. <laughs> Story about that later. But seriously, um, I'm actually on a 2018 BMW S1000 RR Premium. I do believe it's the last one that was sold on the island. I purchased this, this bike back in January. So I've basically kind of come full circle. I mean, where I'm from, kind of start off on the dirt bikes from Baltimore. You know, a lot of you guys probably may or may not know about Baltimore and uh, the dirt bike scene there, the 12 o'clock boys, uh, to name one of the bigger uh, names in uh, dirt biking and wheeling, just the 12 o'clock boy. So started on dirt bikes. Then as I got older, um, of course my natural, for me, natural progression was into street bikes, um, the sport bikes. So I've had the Kawasaki's, I've had the Ninjas, I've had, I've had them all for the most part. But as I got older and being in, uh, being a six foot two kind of a guy, um, yeah, after a while, you know, you ride for so many, so many hours at a time, you, your body starts to respond differently to that. So as I've gotten a little bit older, I, I kind of found my way eyeing myself towards the uh, the more cruising type of a ride, sitting upright. <laughs> so that led me to my first cruiser, or well, kind of, sort of. It was a Honda VTX 1300 R, I want to say. So had a lot of fun with that. That was a great bike. I never had any issues out of it. I loved it, as a matter of fact. Um, and while a lot of my guys back then had Harleys that was always breaking down or overheating, man, my VTX would just keep on moving. And I actually even got to take that bike overseas to Japan and experience some really, really nice, good riding. It was probably the best, best roadways, highways, anywhere you can find in the modern, in the modern world. Japan is awesome, especially for riding. Speaking of awesome, look at all these green mountains as we head to uh, on the other side of the island. But anyway, so like I said, riding a little bit over 20 years, a mixed bag of bikes. Um, I don't know, I guess for the longest time, I always kind of considered getting another sport bike, super sport. So here I am on this one finally. But the funny story is back in 2015, I actually went to buy the same bike that I'm on now. The uh, S1000 Double R, and at the time there wasn't any, there wasn't any on island. They were completely out of stock. Didn't know when they were getting any in, and I had already sold my uh, my last bike. So I was like, "Yo, I got a ride. You you giving me a whole bunch of uh, maybe's and what ifs, and we don't know." So anyway, I jump online. I'm like, "Well, you know what?" Eh, they don't have this one. Maybe it's just not my time. And it really wasn't. So that was when I got my first Harley, the Street Glide. So, been nothing but happy with that bike for the most part. It is a Harley, so Harley bikes come with Harley problems, man. Don't let nobody else tell you anything different. I'm here to tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. But, that said, I love that bike. So yeah, here I am again, like I said, full circle. I don't know, I just woke up one day and I was like, yo, let me go see if they got this in stock. I went online, didn't see nothing. Went on to another site, because the, the stores here are kind of like, they did kind of a merge buyout type of deal. So I was actually on the wrong website. Now actually you did go to the wrong store because they had the information on the old website from the old store. 
but everything was at the new store. Yeah, kind of crazy, but anyway, moving, moving right along. Um, yeah, so I got the, I seen the bike, I was like, ah, oh, man, okay, cool. Went down to Velocity and Honolulu and checked it out, and here I am, man, on my 2018 BMW S1000 RR Premium. Uh, I believe, like I said, the last one that they had on Island for this model year, pinning the new release, of course, of the S1000 RRs. That's Kanye Bay over there. And uh, it's beautiful, man. So, it is Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. Um, I know it's a thankless job, but uh, hey, who better for the task? Who, who, can, who can deal with it and put up with the challenge? better than, than, than the moms out there. You guys are awesome. Keep rocking and kicking ass. Uh, yeah. Mahalo to the moms. So, so a beautiful Sunday, Monday, uh, Mother's Day holiday out here in beautiful Oahu. So yeah, you can see a little bit of bigger glass of the bay over there. Yeah, it's just awesome over here. Um, so anyway, back to me. 808 Motor Lifestyles. You know what, I was doing a few things, I was dealing with some clubs and motorcycles, I was dealing with all kinds of stuff. But I've always been into photography and always been into videography. And, uh, and I love to ride. So to me, putting all that together into moto vlogging and being able to throw it online and sharing, you know, some of my views, points, thoughts, opinions, or what have you, I said, why not? And so that's how I kind of just, you know, I, I visualize it and I just put 808 Moto Lifestyles in motion. So being as though I am on an island, you know, I can only go around in a circle so many times. I don't want to bore anybody. I mean, everybody's pressed for time these days. The last thing you want to do is watch a channel where somebody's just talking about nothing and blah, 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 blah. So the concentration of this channel will be, for the most part, um, anything, events, uh, motorcycle related in content and nature for the most part. Uh, I put a lifestyle in there for the other things because it's different culture out here. Everything is different out here in Hawaii. Like seriously. Uh, uh, excuse me for a minute while I educate people on rules of the road. Ah, that's, an, that's one of my biggest pet peeves. Rules of the road can't get in the left lane and go below the speed limit. Where they do that at? Oh, yeah, boy. But anyway, that's what I was saying. So the goal of 808 Moto Lifestyles is to bring solid content, give you a, 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 a glimpse of, you know, the island biking lifestyle or things that go on out here in the biking community. So that's, that's the plan. And uh, hopefully I can continue to bring you guys solid content. And if you like have a place on the island that you've heard about, or maybe you visited when you was here on vacation and you want me to take a look or check it out, hey, feel free to drop a comment, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Hey, I'm open to criticism. Tell me what you think, what you like, what you didn't like. But at the same time, I'm a realist. I'm realistic about what it is I want to do. And at the end of the day, it has three letters involved with it, and that's F-U-N. Just out here to have fun, not out here to be the next big YouTube star or whatever you want to call them. But um, this is me. I hope you guys will like, subscribe, and share the channel. And yeah, stay tuned. So that's a little bit about myself, what I am, what I, uh, what I want to do with the channel, what I want to bring to you guys. And hopefully... Uh, you guys will find it engaging enough to want to come back and tell your friends about it. So that's enough about me. Uh, I already got a couple of videos lined up for you guys. I'm uh, going to tell you probably next about my bike, how I like it, um, the things I do, the things I don't like per se, which aren't many, but just basically a first impression from January to May, you know, the last five, four or five months. Um, yeah. So stay tuned for that. I'll tell you some of the things I've done to it, some of the things I'm going to do to it, and we'll go from there. Until then, I hope you guys will like, subscribe, and of course share. Mahalo and aloha.